Carbon fiber is one of the more complex materials to make, so let's break it down. We know carbon is quite dark and also dielectric, so metal ones should be set to one. Also, carbon plates are made out of tiny woven fibers, which give us a lot of roughness and also an isotropy. Since the fibers go in two directions, we need a map to control the anisotropy rotation. For this to work, we need proper UVs on our object and a tangent node set to UV map. Getting the right texture scale really sells the effect. We can add some additional detail with a bump map, just make sure to lower the distance quite a lot. A normal map would really make the weave pop. Remember that all these textures need to be in linear color space. Last but not least, we should add a clear coat. The default is nice, but I like to do it by mixing in a glossy shader with the help of a Fresnel node. That way I can control both the strength and the tint of the coat layer. If you want to be really fancy, we can use a mask like this to give our weave different colors. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching.